Welcome back to the party. This is the season finale of Book One Air. This is episode 12 of Legend of Korra. Probably should have started with the Legend of Korra, but that's fine. A lot's gonna go down in this episode, I am sure. Fight with Amon, and I, I'm assuming Korra learns how to airbend in this one, because otherwise, why would it be called Book One Air? It's a big theme, so I'm waiting for it to happen. Either way, as always, there's a link in the description that will send you to Netflix, which is where I'm watching The Legend of Korra. Bring the episode down to zero, then we're gonna hit play at the same time. So when you're ready. In three, two, one, go. Always starting off with the Nickelodeon. Let's fucking go. He's a waterbender. Watch, watch Korra lose the fight, right? And gets her bending taken away, and the rest of the show, she just doesn't have bending. That'd be fucking nuts. <laughs> Although, I am kind of assuming if a bloodbender can take away bending, a bloodbender could technically bring it back. If they figure out how, at least. Once Nanga want fight. Nanga want fight. Appa fought. It's electrified. I fucking call it. And they're dead. And they were captured. It's over. They lost. If that doesn't scream dictator, I don't know what does. Just, just uh, ah, all the emotion in one eye. Ah, <gasps> <gasps> prove it. <laughs> oh, fuck, even he doesn't know. Oh, this the mustache dude's gonna turn on him. I mean, anyone could have given him a fucking fire scar. That still could have happened. <laughs> it's just a good cover. He still kind of looks like Tarlock, though. Gonna be completely honest. Ooh, oh, the last airbenders. Oh. Oh, 
<laughs> How dare you? Most people don't want their deaths avenged. I mean, that's all kind of obvious that would, that would be happen. You should probably learn that. Do only the police know how to metal bend? I feel like I feel like he should learn how to metal bend at this point. Oh my god, she's gonna get in one of those. You don't know how to fucking drive that thing. I mean, she's smart. She knows how to drive a car, but I feel like it's... Oh, well, if that's the case, then sure. Oh, this dude can just fly. Don't fucking crash. How is he supposed to take out trained pilots? Getting rid of the airbenders is just no special thing. The fucking firebenders did that like 200 years ago. Nice. That's cool. That I like that. The wall running, what? Keeping yourself with fire? Pretty nice. The baby is probably an airbender as well. I mean, it might not necessarily have to be, but... I mean, they're trained airbenders. They can probably... They shouldn't be, but they could fight too. I can't imagine the oldest is much younger than Aang was. I feel like I've said that before, but you... Yeah. Okay. I mean, when you think about it, it's just a wall of fire. If you move quick enough, you're not going to get burned. Did Korra go in there? If you hear clicking noise, I'm like cracking my fingers. Amon's gonna blend Ben Cora, the mustache guy is gonna see it, and then the mustache guy is gonna attack Amon. I, I just I feel like that's going to happen. How did he even know? Just seeing how much time was left. I mean, why wouldn't he be able to do more than one, right? Man, only if Cora could use the Avatar state, she'd be able to get out of this. Oh my god. <sighs> well, I guess I was right. The rest of the series, Korra doesn't have bending. Unless something happens, which I'm sure will, but still. That's a good way to attack. It feels like a specific attack that would only work against their airplanes, which they're the only ones that have. 
You gotta make the shot. Just straight down. Or you could take the plane. That makes two. He's pretty high in the air, so I guess that's fine. You're out of... You can't. Oh, he's right... Ran, ran, wow. Landing right in the stat. It's probably just going to knock the mask off. I'm sure that's exactly what's going to happen. Yeah. He did nothing. <laughs> I guess he's just destroying the runway. Ooh. Oh, come on. They're not that light. <laughs> oh, my God. Mecha fight. All right. I feel like he has more experience in using these, but, you know, she's a quick learner. That went far. You gonna kill your daughter now? Oh, thank God for Bolin. Now I want Asami and Bolin to get together. Just because he's saving her. That's the only reason. Don't do it. Why did he think he could get away by running? <laughs> well, of course not. <laughs> oh, yep. <laughs> I was right. A little later than I was hoping, but he it was right. <laughs> The reveal. You're not gonna... I mean, he's not gonna do anything, but yeah. I feel like he's not dead. He could be. But we didn't see his next snap, so... It's also made for Nickelodeon, so I doubt he's dead. Ooh, nice! Nice! Fucking kill him, Mako! <laughs> I feel like you'd need a bit more warm-up than just pointing your finger, but sure. No, it won't. Can she really be the Avatar if she can't bend all the elements? Hey, she hasn't learned airbending yet. Maybe she that means she gets air now. Like, she just gets airbending because he couldn't take away airbending. Because it wasn't there. Do it, airbend. Yes! She fucking did it! All she needed to have is all of her other abilities taken away. Mm. 
Yay! I've never seen an airbender punch the air to hit someone before, but sure. I fucking called it fucking immediately, guys. That's pretty good. Kill this man! He's gonna waterbend right here. To save himself. Oh, no. Well, he didn't. But he still probably will. He's gonna do it now, though. Oh, it's fucking paint! I knew it! I mean, I thought it was a real scar at first, but obviously it's paint. Makes way more sense. Oh my god, we found one other person that talks like that. Obviously firing water into the ocean, it's not going to work very well, Mako. It's almost the end of the episode. How much is left? Eight minutes. I don't know. Are they catching him in, the, in that eight minutes? Maybe he just gets away. Maybe he's in the second part of the season. Maybe he's in season two. I don't fucking know. I just assumed he was... Well, maybe not. Oh. Bro. <laughs> I mean, he's kind of right. I feel like that was fine. She's got something. Silver lining. <laughs> what? <laughs> I see why he's named Boomy. <laughs> Oh, he actually went. He's about to fucking take him down. Oh. Oh my god, he's about to fucking kill both of them. Holy shit! That's fucking dark for a kid's show! Oh, did she go back to the South Pole? Or are they at the North Pole? I don't really actually know. I think she's from the South Pole. Oh, she's a bloodbender, so she tried to... Blood bend it back. Or the healing at the very least. I think, what about, what if Katara, you know, like blood bended it back it could be blood bended away why can't it be blood bended back find another blood bender man that fucking swap man couldn't air bend now she can bend anything else but air did naga ride on 
a sky bison? You're just a water bender, a water. You're just an air bender now. Oh boy. I heard that whole thing. At least you can still airbend. I mean, she can still help out as the avatar with airbending. <laughs> Naga. <laughs> Big snow pupper. Hmm. Look, she just water bended. That's really insensitive. <laughs> Ang, <laughs> bro. Tears. Well, I guess that's what happened to him. Oh, look, all the other ones. Ang! My boy! I'm sorry, did he just give her back her bending? Oh, she's unlocked the Avatar state, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, it's back. Ooh, I got chills. I assumed she'd get it back, but my god, that was cool. <laughs> Oh, I got chills. I got goosebumps. Oh. Poor Asami. <laughs> she can give Bending back. I was right. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Can she give bending to non-benders? Is my question. Like, could she make Asami, like, a bender if she wanted to? Is it her just restoring the bending, or is she giving bending? That's my question. Duh, I've got chills! I feel like a lot happened all at the last five minutes of the episode, but that's fine. It was so good. Okay, everyone, that was the season finale of Book One Air. She now is an airbender. She can use the Avatar state and everything else. And Amon is fucking dead. <laughs> like, my god, he's dead. Korra didn't actually ever beat him. He ne She never f beat him, ever. He just left. <laughs> All she did was push him off into the water, and then he ran away. Because he, he waterbended in front of a bunch of his followers. Interesting way. Interesting way to end this. That was a good. That was a good season. That was end, end game. That's the name of this episode. That was fun. I really enjoyed that. I I thought it'd be. I didn't think it was actually going to happen, but I thought it would be funny if she could only airbend for the rest of the show. Now my only question is, can as the avatar, I know she can restore bending, but can she give bending to someone? Like just someone random? Is that a thing? I think that'd be cool. I think I feel like that'd be something the Avatar could technically do. I mean, like, why not, right? Come by for the next episode where I'm going to do episode one, book two of what's it called? What 
Book two spirits. Okay, so you can now access the spirit world, I guess, because she's, uh, you can use the avatar state. But, uh, yes, check us out next time. Book one, episode two, spirits. And as always, if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Super helps out the channel. Links in the description to my Twitch, Patreon, and my Twitter. Also, click that notification bell so you know when the next episode is live. Other than that, thank you for coming to the party.